वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल क्लूर विनित सो आई कंटिन्यू दी एरस प्ले लिस्ट टूडे क्वेश्चन इज फाइंडिंग मेजारीटी एलिमेंट इन दि गिवेन इनपुट एरे ओके दिस इज वॉट दि क्वेश्चन लुक्स लाइक इयर लेट्स टेक एन एक्सापल इयर और इनपुट एरे इज वन काम वन काम वन काम वन काम वन काम फोर काम फाइव सो इन दिस वी शुड फाइंड अवट दि मेजारीटी एलिमेंट विच इज अपियरिंग ग्रेटर दैन दि हाफ ऑफ दि सैज ऑफ दि इनपुट एरे ओके here in this case it is one that is why our output should output is one understood right so this is the question right now coming down to the intuition or approach that we could come up with this question is um, what i'll do is straight forward naive approach take it two loops and compare every element with that every other element and see if they are matching i'll keep on incrementing the count and after coming out of the inner loop i will check if that count is greater than the nums dot size by 2 that is more than half of the input array size then that would be our majority element okay so let me write down that approach approach 1 using Two loops. Okay, so let let me name that as input parameter would be integer array, and output would be the majority element, which is of type integers. Okay, so here I will do two loops. Similarly, if element is equals to num, I will increment count. See, let me create here one variable as. Okay, let me create here. Okay. I increment count, and here, if this count is greater than half of the input size array, then this is the required answer. Right? Simple. Or else, what we know, what we just throw a legal exception that there is no. we we'll just throw exception that is no majority element okay simple take a two loops and compare the element and if they are matching keep on incrementing the count and if that count is greater than the uh, more than uh, half of the size of the input array then that would be our required majority element fine now coming down to the time and space complexity since we are using two loops obviously this would mount to order of n square and space complexity it's just order of 1 since we are using just one temporary variable so let me write down that here time is order of n and space is order of 1 this is order of n square okay right now <clears throat> is there any other way that could optimize the above approach uh, well what i could directly say is i will just sort the array and then return the middle element of that sorted array so that would be the majority elements right so let me write down that approach approach to use sorting approach okay let me name this as approach to and uh, parameter remains the same and return type here is i will just sort it and i will return nums of nums dot size by 2 so this would be the majority element of the given input array right now coming down to time complexity 
since we are using sorting it will take at least order of n log n okay and space com complexity is order of one since we are not using any extra space so this is the approach to fine is there any other way that we could uh, still optimize the above approach uh, yeah there is one so let me write uh, down that as well approach 3 okay and uh, let me name this as approach 3 and input parameter remains same and uh, return type also remains same and let i'll take one i'll define one variable called majority element and uh, initially i will keep as first element okay and i will iterate i will iterate given input array if nums of i is equals to majority element what i will do is i will increment the count so i will define that as well okay i will increment the count else if that is not matching i will just decrement the count and also check if the count is zero if count is zero that means the previous element which we uh, tried tried to keep track of a uh, majority element that is not anymore the majority so the current element we are at we will store that into majority element okay so majority element is nums of i and again initialize the counter to one okay so finally we will return majority element okay now analyzing the time and space complexity and okay one second should we go ahead and initialize count as zero no we should initialize it as one because obviously that element count we are missing so now coming down to the time and space complexity time would be order of n since we are iterating the array only once and the space complexity is is order of one since we are using just two temporary variables so this is the approach three approach three for this question right so these are the three approaches for this question now let's write main function and try to execute each of the approach and see what their output looks like okay. i'm writing main function and initialize the object of the above class i have created that is majority element okay and straight forward i'll write three println statements to see the output of each approach okay so i will take the same example which i shown earlier so do the same for approach 2 and approach 3 approach 2 here again approach 2 approach 3 and it is approach 3 fine so let's execute and see what is the majority element of three approaches yeah there we go as you see the output of approach 1 approach 2 and approach 3 is 1 which is what exactly we needed that is the majority element in the given input array yeah so this is it for this video thank you so much for your love and support keep watching and keep supporting this channel there will be a lot more exciting content coming up your way thank you so much